Nationals are the Stanley Cup champions. And the Pittsburgh Penguins have won the Stanley Cup. Gretzky has got it up high. The Bruins have won it. The St. Louis Blues are headed to the Stanley Cup final. Top scoring line against top scoring line to break the tie through the first two games in a change of venue in St. Louis. Sure glad you're here with us. Bergeron to take the first draw with Shen. Blues control. Pareko there and back in. And an icing seven seconds in. Set one that popped to the corner off a of Blues stick. And then a big hit has sent David back as the X blew down to the ice from Sammy Blay. That one Kareem just by him. Blay able to get out to center. Here's McAvoy twisting it back. Marsha gets the club. Boston will get shot. And it's back left and eight down. That was wrong spot during that shift. But what a pass and what a save by Jordan Bennington. Somehow, someway going left to right. Off the one-timer, the Bruins do everything exactly the way you want in setting up an offensive play. And Bennington makes a stop. A lot of room up top. Foster not trying to go low. And Bennington makes a huge save, but a building block there for that big line of the Bruins. Sent to the back by DeBrusque, walked over by Krug, and a shot, he scores! A deflection on route. Bergeron has tipped it in, and it is a 1-0 lead for the Bruins, and for the seventh straight game, they have a power play goal. In the first two games of the Stanley Cup Final, Doc, it wasn't your conventional power play. You had guys shooting the puck, but there's that beautiful pass from Tori Krug. Face-off win for Bergeron. Krug shoots for the stick, and this puck goes right past the glove of Jordan Bennington. So again, the Bruins worked on their power play yesterday in practice. Wanted to have the mindset, as we talked about in the first two games of this series, just don't turn down opportunities to get the puck to the net, and no chance for the Blues goaltender. Just love the support for Berger on that faceoff win. It takes more than one guy to win faceoffs. Jake DeBrus did a great job getting that puck back to the point for the Bruins. And McAvoy, who was able to sashay from Bruins. That's the back one now for Pasternak. Oh, and now to the ice was Shen. Pasternak seems to be fine in that collision. Sent down was O'Reilly. Puck started ahead now, trying to find his way free as Coyle. Able to get to center and then on to Dan Heinen. Heinen drops, Johansson across, Coyle, oh, score! Charlie Coyle! And it's two to nothing. Watch the work by 13 and right below the goal line. He's helping out McAvoy. Look at the stick. And now he avoids the hit by Sammy Blay. Now it's a three on two. Heinen to Johansson. That great chemistry with Johansson and Coyle. No chance for Bennington. Great defense leads the offense. Well, defensive pairings that aren't normal. Benerson was playing on the right. Mo Meester was on the left. They both had different partners. They were not comfortable. They didn't defend the rush well. And Charlie Coyle makes them pay. Executed play by Johansson and Coyle. Corrales a shot, he scores! Sean Corrales, and it's three to nothing! Right here, and then Corrales gets it. He fires it right between the legs of Petrangelo, right past Jordan Bennington. The quick release, and a huge goal for the Boston Bruins. And a tough goal to give up if you're Jordan Bennington in the St. Louis Blues. That's three five-hole goals in the last two games against Bennington. <sighs> St. Louis is challenging the play to determine if there was offside prior to the goal. Wow. John Farrell is a video coach for the St. Louis Blues. He's breaking that down. This is the angle where I said it looks like it's offside. After review, it's determined that the play was onside. The call on the ice stands. We have a goal. St. Louis has assessed the bench minor penalty. Marshawn tried to poke Up. it back to the point. No luck. Barbashev in the way, but now it's Bergeron whipping it across. He threw it around in front. Pasternak, he scores! What a backhand by Pasternak, and it's
it's four to nothing. Uh, we showed Pasternak with a one-time opportunity in the first period. He didn't get good wood on it. He got good wood on this one. Bergeron, subtle little play across the blue line, and then Pasternak with the backhand up and over. Jordan Biddington, he made that one look easy, Eddie. All by himself. But a breakdown defensively for the Blues. Here's the goal scorer, right? Watch the Blues. Pursuit, pursuit. And then now they leave this area of the ice wide open. Watch this. Wide open in front. Slow to react. Posture knock. Quick little shovel. And then the backhand up top over Bennington. Set it up. Pressure, penalty kill. Change sides. You leave the pressure. And they are up 4 nothing now. Not going to get two or three in one shift. That's the mindset. You just got to get the next one. Force around in front. Maroon with a backhander that was wide. Along the plan is Bergeron. Guided it back to Carlo. Carlo's side of the net now. Poster knock a shot that's blocked off by Bennington. Rebound! And Bennington got a piece of that and then it's nudged right into him. And he will hold on and play is stopped. Tarasenko <laughs> able to drift behind him. That went off Bozak. Or Pareko, who can hand it across to Perron. Then on the Bozak and a save made by Rask on a strong shot. Steen there, threw it back out. Petrangelo drifting, gave it back to Barbashev. And a shot popped up high off of Heinen. Played on by Steen again. Then it's Zach Sanford. Shoulders there by Char. Rolled off there, but it was Sanford's going to get his first ever NHL playoff point. Keeping plays alive, getting it down low. The strength of the Blues is cycle. Here's that Sanford spinning off. Does that go off Charlie McAvoy? It doesn't matter. Barbashev's going to get the goal. Quick release off the skate of McAvoy. It elevates Pat Stukaras. 4-1 Boston leads. But for Zach Sanford, smart, hard play. He gets rewarded with an assist. How about Sanford shaking off Sedano Chara below the goal line? That allowed separation, the quick little backhand, double deflection, off the right skate, off the left skate, into the back of the net. And the Blues got some life. Their fourth line cashes in. To poke it back, fed back on to Bergeron, across down to Marjan. Tried to get it in front, but Bowmeister blocked that. And it is retrieved by Krug, finessed on to Marjan. Finessed it right through to Krug, and here's Krug a shot. He scores! Krug, and it's three for three. On the power play. If you're Craig Berube, you got to be thinking about getting Jake Allen into this game. I think this is one that Bennington needs to have. It's from well out, little bit of a screen. Yes, it was deflected. And Bennington gets beat on the short side. And it hits his glove. Uh, you, they listen to Yeti. Here comes a change. For the first time in these playoffs, Jordan Bennington will not be in the goal crease. It will be Jake Allen. Doc, we talked about the Bruins' power play in the first two games in Boston. And if Bergman still play continues, here's Sammy Blay laying it in. Thrown by O'Reilly. O'Reilly holds. And then O'Reilly shot the top the crossbar. He couldn't get the rebound to go, but man, Tuka Rask is on it. for three on the power play with six shots. Marinko a shot. Score! Deflected on Riff. And it is five to two. And finally, the Blues get a power play goal. Well, Pierre made mention a little bit earlier on that four on three that the Blues were trying to isolate Colt Marinko for the big one-timer. Weren't able to do it on the four on three, but they were able to do it on the five on four. And you mentioned, Doc, this thing goes deflected. It ends up going in and off of Carlo past Tuka Rask. That thing is launched, and there's a deflection that Eddie talked about off the midsection of Brandon Carlo, 5-2. St. Louis still three goals down. The puck was going way wide. But again, you just never know when you get it towards the blue paint. 
That was not a good penalty for Zidane O'Chara to take, and he knows it. Lost 90 to go in the tilt. Shoved on back to Krug. Across for a drive. Score! Joe Hansen. The Bruins with yet another power play goal, and it is 7 to 2. That's a pretty slick puck movement, Eddie. Four shots on four power plays and four goals. No wasted motion by these guys. Uh, Johansson's gonna move the puck over to Krug. Krug's gonna return the favor with the no-look slap pass, and then the one-timer for Johansson just beats Jake Allen short side. game when it was very close to Garask again was thrown. That is it and the Bruins have surgically and decisively taken a lead in the series two games to one with a 7-2 to win tonight in St. Louis.